You can do a lot more things with Canva than you can imagine. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make some fun videos for your TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. You only need a few minutes, so let's go for it. So first, let's start with quote by creating a blank mobile video template. So here we have our design and I'm gonna change the background to be one of the darker colors in our color palette. And I'm gonna click on R to bring in a rectangle and resize that. And then up here in the toolbar, I'm going to change the corners so that they're a little bit more rounded. And let's resize this one more time. Something like that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna make this one of the lighter colors in our color palette here. And now let's add in a text block and this will say reminder. That'll be the very top of our post and change that to be one of the fonts in our brand kit over here, choose seasons. And let's make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna add in another text block and this will become the actual quote that we'll use. So I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller here. And since I don't have a quote off the top of my head, I'm gonna use Canva Assistant and Magic Write. So I'm gonna click that here again. This is a pro feature, uh, but if you don't have this, then you could use something like ChatGPT. So let's just say a short quote about how home should be a comfy place. No more than 15 words. Home should be a cozy sanctuary where you can relax and be yourself. All right, so let's just go ahead and remove those quotes there. And let's add in a line and we'll bring that down here, go all the way across. Let's make that a little bit smaller so it's not quite as thick. And then I'm just gonna bring this down here. I'm gonna duplicate this layer by just holding down Alt or Option and dragging it. And this will just say, you got it. And let's make that a little bit smaller here. All right, maybe change this, that it looks better. All right, so now we have our reminder, it's done. And what we wanna do is because this is gonna go on maybe TikTok or Instagram, we wanna be able to have some motion in the background. So over here in the object panel, I'm gonna click on Elements and search for interior design. You can see I've already got that here in the search bar. And I'm going to sort by vertical. And let's add in one of these here. So maybe something like this. We'll just click and drag, bring that in. And I'm gonna lower the transparency just a little bit. And maybe I'll adjust the contrast a little bit. So there we go, it's done. And if we wanted to add in a little bit more animation, then we could select the background, click animate, and maybe have it do something like this. So then when you're done, you click play, and this is what that post is gonna look like. So you can see in just a couple minutes, we were able to create a reminder post. So let's do a transition post that instead of it being a closed transition, is a swipe transition where we can show a before and after. One with the before shot and then you swiping and then one with the after shot of you swiping. So I've already got some videos here that I'm gonna pull in. So in this first video, you can see that the template here, that the design is blank. And then you see my hand sort of move in front of the camera. And then in this second page here that I'm gonna bring in, you can see the design is complete and again, my hand is swiping, but that's because we're going to use the video editor tools within Canva to make it look like my hand swiped in front of the camera and all of a sudden it went from nothing on the canvas to having the completed design on the canvas. So in order to make this transition, what we're gonna do is go to that first clip here and we're just gonna scroll through until you see the hand move in front of the camera. So there it is right there and it's completely covering it and it's a little bit blurry. So that's what we want. That's where we're going to trim this video. So I'm gonna take the end of this video and I'm gonna drag it until it hits that marker right there. And then for the second clip, I'm gonna do the same thing except I wanna trim the front end of it. So again, I'm just searching for a place where 
my hand covered that camera and there's maybe a little bit of blur. So maybe right somewhere around there is good. And I'm gonna trim the front end of this clip. So let's trim this to hit that marker. And now when we hit play, this is what it's gonna look like. So that's a very easy way to use Canva to create a transition as a way to show the before and after of your work. I'd recommend searching Canva for Hype Reel and using one of their templates. So I've already got one in mind and it's this one right here that says Real Estate Instagram Reel. So I'm gonna click on this right here and then apply all three pages to the design and you can see everything is added and the bonus is that this one actually has an audio track. So if I wanted to include that, then I'd be able to do that as well. So of course, the first thing that we're going to do is swap out the fonts, swap out the colors. So I'm gonna go over here to the styles tab and let's choose our color palette and apply to all pages. And then let's choose our brand fonts and apply that to all pages. So there we go. Now you can see that each one of these slides matches with our fonts and the brand colors. So now we wanna make a couple of changes here. We wanna swap out the images or we wanna swap out the photos. And so I'm gonna go over here to the elements tab and search for interior design, go to videos. We've already been through this, right? And then I'm going to search by only vertical and let's just drag and drop and replace this. Now, one thing you'll notice is that down here, this just changed to 19 seconds long. And the way to avoid that is to lock that down before adding in your video. So I'm gonna undo that here and I'm gonna click on these three dots, lock this page. And now when I add this video, it's gonna keep to the same duration as the original template. So we'll do that for the second one here as well. We're gonna lock this page down and add in our videos. And then we'll do this for the last page here. Lock the page and let's add in this right here. And one more, maybe this right here. So of course you can swap everything out with the text and the copy but that's a really fast way to be able to make a hype reel to promote your brand, or maybe you wanna showcase your work. You could do this with portfolio if you wanted to. And these are all easy ways that you can use Canva to create standout videos for your social media channels. If you wanna get a firm grasp on everything that you can do in Canva, be sure to check out my Domestica course.